This sign means A. Watch for drunk drivers. B. Curves ahead. C. Slippery when wet. D. Apply your brakes quickly. C. Slippery when wet. This sign warns that the road is slippery when wet. This sign means A. Continue at your current speed. B. You must stop ahead. C. Speeding is not allowed. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. D. There is a traffic signal ahead. This sign indicates that there is a traffic signal ahead. At a school crossing sign, you should A. Always stop, whether there's a stop sign or not. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. C. Always sound your horn when you see children. D. Be ready to help children crossing the street. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. You must always yield to pedestrians who are in or about to enter a crosswalk. Be alert to pedestrians when driving across intersections or turning. If you stop at a railroad crossing with more than one track. A. Wait to proceed until you have a clear view of all tracks. B. Stop on the first railroad track and watch for another train. C. Go through as soon as the train passes. D. Go through when one of the tracks is free. A. Wait to proceed until you have a clear view of all tracks. If you are stopped at a railroad crossing with more than one track, do not start moving as soon as a train passes. Wait until you have a clear view down all tracks before you start across. Even where there is only one track, do not start across immediately after a train passes. Check again for another train that may be approaching. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. This sign means A. Yield. B. Crossroad ahead. C. Keep right. D. Yield ahead. If you need to slow down while driving on a slippery road, the first thing you should do is A. Firmly apply your brakes. B. Take your foot off the gas pedal. C. Apply your parking brake. D. Pump your brakes. B. Take your foot off the gas pedal. To slow down on a slippery road, you should first take your foot off the gas pedal. If you need to slow down even more, gently apply a slow, steady pressure to your brake pedal. This road sign means A. You are about to enter a one-way street the wrong way. B. School crossing ahead. C. Do not drive in this lane. D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. This sign is used with a traffic signal to tell drivers that left turning traffic does not have the right of way and must instead wait for oncoming traffic to clear. If your vehicle begins to skid, you should A. Overcorrect. B. Turn your steering wheel into traffic. C. Turn your steering wheel in the direction you want to go. D. Release the steering wheel. C. Turn your steering wheel in the direction you want to go. If your vehicle begins to skid, remain calm. Steer in the direction that you want to go and try not to overcorrect.
This road sign means a. Slow down or stop. b. Stop, if necessary. c. You must come to a complete stop. d. Drive with caution and be ready to stop. c. You must come to a complete stop. An eight-sided sign always means, stop. You must come to a complete stop and wait for any vehicles or pedestrians to clear the way before proceeding. The most important thing to remember about speed management and curves is that you must a. Drive at the posted speed limit as you enter the curve, then slow down at the sharpest part of the curve. b. Slow down before you enter the curve. c. Accelerate gently before you enter the curve. d. Drive at the posted speed limit before, throughout, and after the curve. b. Slow down before you enter the curve. The most important thing to remember about driving in curves is that your vehicle's inertia may make it difficult to turn. To maintain control, it is essential that you slow down before entering the curve. This sign means a. Two-way traffic b. Lane shifting c. Low clearance d. Added lane a. Two-way traffic Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers that they may encounter traffic coming from the opposite direction. This road sign means A. You are about to enter a one-way street from the wrong direction. B. U turns are prohibited. C. You may proceed if the way is clear. D. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. A. You are about to enter a one way street from the wrong direction. If you drive past these signs, you are going the wrong way and are at risk of a head on collision. You should cautiously turn around. If you are approaching a school bus that has stopped to drop off children on a four-lane highway, you must come to a complete stop only if a. You are traveling in the same direction as the bus. b. You can see children trying to cross the street. c. You are driving on the opposite side of the highway. d. The bus driver waves you ahead. a. You are traveling in the same direction as the bus. If a school bus has stopped to drop off children on a roadway with four or more traffic lanes, only drivers on the same side of the roadway must come to a complete stop. Be especially cautious when driving near children. This road sign means A. You must travel at the speed indicated. B. The maximum legal speed on the roadway is 55 miles per hour. C. You must travel through the intersection at the posted speed. D. None of the above. B. The maximum legal speed on the roadway is 55 miles per hour. This is a speed limit sign. It indicates the maximum legal speed that you may drive on the road where it is posted. At times of rain, snow, ice, or other less than ideal conditions, you may have to drive more slowly than the posted limit. When approaching an accident scene, you should a. Keep your attention on your driving. b. Keep moving. c. Stop if you are involved or if emergency help has not yet arrived. d. All of the above. D. All of the above. Do not stop at an accident scene unless you are involved or emergency help has not yet arrived. Keep your attention on your driving and keep moving, watching for people who might be on or near the road. Never drive to the scene of an accident, fire, or other disaster just to look.
You are coming to an intersection with a flashing yellow light. You should A. Stop and wait for the light to change. B. Make a U-turn because the intersection is closed. C. Drive carefully through the intersection. D. Prepare to stop, the light is about to turn red. C. Drive carefully through the intersection. A flashing yellow light means that you should proceed through the intersection slowly and with caution. Scan your eyes across traffic in both directions. A yellow and black diamond-shaped sign. A. Warns you about conditions on or near the road. B. Helps direct you to cities and towns ahead. C. Tells you about traffic laws and regulations. D. Tells you about road construction ahead. A. Warns you about conditions on or near the road. Warning signs, which tell you about conditions on or near the road ahead, are usually diamond-shaped with black symbols or words on a yellow background. You notice that the driver in the vehicle ahead of you is driving with one hand and talking to a passenger. You should A. Give the vehicle extra space. B. Know that the driver in the vehicle ahead is reducing their safety margin by being an inattentive driver. C. Avoid following the driver's example. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Do not become distracted by looking at passengers, attempting to find something in your vehicle, looking at reading material, sightseeing, or daydreaming while driving. If a driver near you seems distracted, allow them extra space because the risk of an accident is increased by their inattentiveness. Car drivers should know that large trucks a. have large blind spots. B. Can stop more quickly than passenger vehicles. C. Do not need more room to maneuver than passenger vehicles. D. All of the above. A. Have large blind spots. A large truck has large blind spots to the front, sides, and rear of the vehicle. Avoid lingering in these areas. Because of their larger size and weight. Trucks require more room to maneuver and stop than passenger vehicles. What should you do when you see this sign? A. Look for a train station ahead. B. Signal before going any further. C. Slow down and yield for trains. D. Stop. C. Slow down and yield for trains. This sign indicates that there is a railroad crossing on the road ahead. You should always slow down when approaching a railroad crossing. Trains cannot yield to cars, so you must let them pass before crossing the tracks. You are driving up a hill and are approaching a heavy truck from the rear. You should know that. A. The truck may be traveling at a speed slower than the posted speed limit. B. You may not be able to safely pass the truck. C. You may not be able to legally pass the truck. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Drivers must be aware that large vehicles often travel at a speed slower than the posted speed limit especially when driving on an incline, and should use caution when approaching a large vehicle from the rear. When on a hill with limited visibility, it is unlawful to pass another vehicle. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit on freeways with paved shoulders is a. 20 miles per hour. b. 30 miles per hour. C. 45 miles per hour. D. 65 miles per hour. D. 65 miles per hour. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit on freeways with paved shoulders is 65 miles per hour.
If a different speed limit is posted, you should follow that speed limit. This sign means A. Stop. B. Side road. C. Two way left turn. D. Farm machinery. A. Stop. Eight sided traffic signs warn drivers that they must stop and yield the appropriate right of way at an intersection. Drivers may proceed when it is safe to do so. This sign is used to warn drivers about a. Upcoming intersections. b. Road construction. c. An upcoming curve in the road. d. Changes in traffic lanes. c. An upcoming curve in the road. This sign indicates that the road ahead curves to the right. A, no stopping, sign means that, unless directed to do so by a police officer, you may stop only. A. Long enough to unload packages. B. To avoid conflict with other traffic. C. To discharge passengers. D. For less than five minutes. B. To avoid conflict with other traffic. A, no stopping, sign means you can only stop to obey a traffic signal, to obey a police officer, or to prevent a conflict with another vehicle. You are coming to a railroad crossing where the crossing signals are flashing. You should A. Stop and look for a train. B. Slow down and look for a train. C. Look for a train. Then speed up. D. Do what the vehicle ahead of you does. A. Stop and look for a train. When approaching a railroad crossing, you must stop your vehicle no closer than 15 feet from the nearest rail if an installed electric or mechanical signal is giving warning of an approaching train. Be aware of other warning signs that may indicate an oncoming train including seeing a lowered crossing gate or hearing an oncoming train. What should you do when an emergency vehicle is approaching while displaying flashing red or blue lights? A. See if you can reach your destination before the emergency vehicle catches up to you. B. Continue driving but try to stay out of its way. C. Pull over to the side of the road and come to a complete stop. D. Stop in the middle of an intersection. C. Pull over to the side of the road and come to a complete stop. You must yield the right of way to all emergency vehicles using a siren, air horn, and or flashing red, blue, or white lights. Where possible, you must pull over to the right edge of the road. If you are in an intersection, drive through the intersection before you pull over. When the driver behind you wants to pass, you should A. Speed up. B. Go the same speed. C. Slow down to allow room in front of your vehicle for the other driver to complete the pass easily. D. Change lanes. C. Slow down to allow room in front of your vehicle for the other driver to complete the pass easily. When the driver behind you wants to pass, you should slow down so that there is enough room in front of your vehicle for the other driver to complete their pass. This will allow them to complete the passing maneuver in less time and more easily. Don't follow other cars too closely because A. You may not see the road between the cars. B. You may not have time to stop if the vehicle in front of you slows or stops suddenly. C. You may not see the vehicle's turn signals. D. You may not see the other vehicle's brake lights. B. You may not have time to stop if the vehicle in front of you slows or stops suddenly. 
If you follow too closely and the vehicle in front of you slows or stops suddenly, you may not have enough time to avoid a collision. This sign means A. Trucks are permitted on an upcoming narrow bridge. B. The bridge ahead is open to one-way traffic only. C. The bridge ahead is wide enough for only one car at a time. D. The bridge ahead may be too narrow to meet or pass a truck. D. The bridge ahead may be too narrow to meet or pass a truck. Warning signs are used to warn drivers about upcoming hazardous conditions and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that an upcoming bridge may be too narrow to meet or pass a truck and that they should be careful. This road sign means A. Do not pass. B. Do not enter. C. No turn on red. D. Keep right. D. Keep right. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. The road will split into two one-way roadways separated by a median or divider. You must keep to the right. This road sign means A. Intersection ahead. B. Steep grade ahead. C. Winding road. D. Merging traffic. B. Steep grade ahead. This sign indicates that a steep downhill grade is ahead. This sign means A. Trucks only. B. Trucks are entering the highway. C. Upcoming hill. D. Trucks have the right of way. C. Upcoming hill. Warning signs are usually diamond shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign indicates that drivers are approaching a steep hill and should prepare to adjust their speeds to continue to drive safely. On long trips, you can prevent drowsiness by A. Turning on your car radio. B. Slowing down. C. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. D. Moving your eyes from side to side as you drive. C. Stopping at regular intervals for a rest. To prevent drowsiness on long trips, you should schedule regular stops. Give yourself time to rest and stretch, even if you are not feeling tired. When you see this sign, you must A. Stop completely and check for pedestrians and cross traffic. B. Slow down without coming to a complete stop. C. Stop completely and wait for a green light. D. Slow down and check for traffic. A. Stop completely and check for pedestrians and cross traffic. Any eight-sided sign is a stop sign. At an intersection with a stop sign, you must stop completely and check for pedestrians and cross traffic in the intersection. Wait for the intersection to clear before proceeding. Anything that requires you to fill in the blank could cause you to crash. A. Take your eyes off the road. B. Take your hands off the wheel. C. Take your attention away from the task of driving. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Anything that causes you to take your attention away from driving, take your eyes off the road, and or take your hands off the wheel as a distraction. At dusk or on overcast days, you should A. Drive using your four-way flashers. B. Drive using your parking lights. C. Not turn on any vehicle lights. D. Turn on your headlights.
on the freeway, you see a merging traffic sign. You should a honk at incoming traffic. B. Always remain at your present speed. C. Speed up to avoid congesting traffic. D. Move to another lane, if safe, to let traffic enter. D. Move to another lane, if safe, to let traffic enter. When on a roadway with two or more lanes, you should make room for entering vehicles. If there is no one driving next to you, move over one lane. When driving on wet pavement, it's important to remember a. that pavement is especially slippery right after it starts to rain, b. that wet roads can cause hydroplaning, c. to give yourself additional space when coming to a stop, d. all of the above. D. All of the above. Wet roadway surfaces can be dangerously slick, especially immediately following a rainfall. When you are driving on wet roads, your vehicle is traveling on a thin layer of oil, dirt, and water. Slow down when there is heavy rain, standing water, or slush on the road to reduce the risk of your wheels losing traction on the slick surface. To change lanes you should a. Check your mirrors and signal, then change lanes. b. Signal, check your mirrors, check your blind spot in the direction you plan to move, then change lanes. c. Signal, check your mirrors, and change lanes. d. Signal and change lanes. b. Signal, check your mirrors, check your blind spot in the direction you plan to move, then change lanes. Before changing lanes, you should activate your turn signal in the appropriate direction and check your rear view and side mirrors. Look over your shoulder in the direction you plan to move in order to check your blind spot and check the far lane to be sure no one else is trying to enter the same lane as you. Change lanes when you are sure it is safe to do so.